I did my thing on the quadratic formula you can see here below, along with the variables a, b, c, and x. All of them come from the standard format x squared plus b, x plus c. If you look at the example, this and this look identical. a, b, c here up here respectively, all of them known numbers. x is your unknown number, your variable. Typically to solve factoring such and such, you set it to 0. When you graph it, you set it to y instead. To solve this quadratic formula, yeah, formula, you know a, b, c already. You simply plug it in and solve it. Your x values will be the values where your graph crosses the x-axis. So this part of the equation repeated is called the discriminant. Plug in and solve, it can be positive, negative, zero, like anything else. Say it's positive, you plus or minus sign. So you'll be adding this number, and then in another place and time, you will be subtracting this number. So you'll end up with two answers. Whoa, okay, graph it out, x squared, you'll end up with a parabola. Your two answers, like I said, it'll cross the x-axis twice. And these are your two real roots, the answers you got. So take another look. The discriminant is inside a square root box. Zero, so basically what number times itself um, will have equaled this. So obviously times itself, it must be identical. So I enter some numbers, positive, negative, and also zero, all identical to themselves. Look at the results of these squares, you will find no negative numbers. So something like this discriminant with a negative four will not be found like anywhere. But then look at this example, ABC, perfectly legal, plug in, solve, blah, blah, blah. You will end up with this negative discriminant slash negative square root. But that can also be dealt with. Continuing on, you have this. Like I said, you can't have it be negative. You won't find any answer. Break it up. You have your 16 times i squared. i is some imaginary number that makes the 16 become negative. Take out the square root, end up with 4i. This is the correct simplified form of this i is your imaginary number. It does not actually exist. If you graph the equation, you will find that the x-axis is never ever crossed. So your two answers are called complex roots. From this negative discriminant, you will get two complex roots. Next, if your discriminant equals zero, zero multiplied by zero is zero. So your square root of this will also be zero. Go back to the original equation plus zero minus zero, it won't be affected in any way. You will get only one answer. So look at this graph. It will be crossed, the x-axis, at only one point here, here, it doesn't really matter. And this will be your one real root. The quadratic formula apparently will work in any scenario.